Yo guys, welcome back to our video, but today we're going to be talking about a dick advocate leaving the Iraqi job with one week, with less than one week to go to, for the Arab Cup. He leaves, he resigns, and um, yeah, we're just going to be talking about how he did for us and the result and am I happy he's leaving or am I angry he's leaving? Um, I'm actually both. Yeah, anyways, bro, let's before get into it, but make sure you guys hit like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're going to be re reacting to a lot of Arab Cup games. Um, when it ha when it starts in about I'm pretty sure in like six days I'm pretty sure it starts. Very very excited for it. Yeah, bro. So I'm gonna be reacting to a lot of the games from it. So if you guys are a fan of that, hit the subscribe button and let's get straight into this, bro. So he played six games for us, um, including other like friendlies and that. But the main games he played six games for us. The first game he drew with Korea away from home, even though there was no fans in that game, but still away from home, nil nil, keeping a clean sheet. It's unheard of to be honest, bro. So that's unbelievable. That's a 10 out of 10 result, if we're gonna be honest, bro. Um, I don't remember the last time we went to like a Korea or Japan, you know, country like that, or even a run away from home or Australia and got a result there. So this that's an unbelievable, unbelievable result. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. I can't compare. Not 10 out of 10, but I'm saying 9 out of 10. Um, anyways, moving on, and this is where it kind of started going downhill from my opinion. Second game against our, our tribals, Iran, 3-0. 3-0 terrible terrible performance that game um and um yeah bro absolutely terrible and the, the thing i feel like the main problem with him as manager was we just couldn't score goals bro we couldn't really score goals um and um yeah bro i didn't watch the full game for the iran game i didn't watch that full game i watched the full korea game and the korea game we didn't really create anything um moving on to lebanon i watched the first half for this game and um, yeah, again, yeah, we didn't really create anything again. Second half, I'm, I'm pretty sure we, I think we created like one or two chances, but no, no against Lebanon. If we want to make it through, as I said before, if we want to make it through, we need to be beating Lebanon. We need to be beating Syria. We need to be beating UAE. We need to be beating these teams, but we didn't. So, no, no, we still couldn't score. We kept the clean sheet, which was good, but we just couldn't score. We just can't, like, it, it was just very, very hard for us to create chances, bro. Yeah, Mimi's injured, but still, like, I don't know, we're just finding, we're just terrible at scoring under him. Decent defensive, not that bad. I mean, it, I, I'll say this, we're inconsistent. Because it goes, we kept a clean sheet, then we conceded three, then kept a clean sheet, then conceded two, then one, then three again. Uh, I was just, it's just very, very inconsistent from him. Well, anyways, um, next game against UAE, 2-2, two, two, more entertaining game. We finally score two goals. Um, I'm pretty sure one of them was our own goal, actually, but... Um, or a deflection, I think it was a deflection. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. To be fair, at the end, we should have probably won it. Um, UAE lost when it go. But yeah, again, I didn't watch this game. I didn't watch the full game. I obviously watched the highlights, but I didn't watch the full game for that game. But um, yeah, I don't really... I'm not sure. Because I didn't watch the game, I'm not going to comment on too much saying we deserved it or we didn't deserve it. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but we were kind of unlucky towards the end for... Because we were 2-1 up. At the end, and we, and we just didn't take it, you know what I mean? Next game against Syria. Now, this game, we actually played pretty good in that game. Um, yeah, we played pretty, good in, we played pretty good in that game. We just to win that game, but pretty unlucky. They had, I think, that was pretty much the only chance, and Soma scored the goal. But, um, yeah, I, f I feel like that was probably our best performance under him, if I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Um, yeah, again, we still couldn't score. We only scored one, and that one was a penalty. Yeah, again, as I said before, in six games, we only scored three goals one of them was a penalty the other one was a deflection do you gotta make so realistically we just scored one normal goal in six games six games that's terrible bro and the last game against korea let's not even talk about that game three no absolutely absolutely terrible bro but um yeah man I, I didn't want him i felt like when he first came in he was just too old he was already retired as well um yeah i, th I feel like he's just retired that's the that's the main problem he was just retired and it's stupid, we have for about six, five days to get a new manager in, bro. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know who the hell we're going to get in, but hopefully we get someone in that's going to do good for, for the Arab Cup. And um, hopefully we can end up getting third place as well, bro. Uh, but yeah, anyways, man, I'm happy he's leaving, bro. I didn't really want him from the start. But um, yeah, bro, it is what it is. We move on. Hopefully we do good in the Arab Cup and that. Um and uh, yeah, bro, other than that, man, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And put down in the comments down below your thoughts on the sacking or on the resign. And um, yeah, man, other than that, peace.